All right then, a very, very good morning to everybody here at uh, Estrell Hotel in Berlin to the very first edition of the Future of Computing conference. My name is Oliver Hasse. I'm uh, in my full-time job managing director of ENOM, the Innovation Network uh, for Advanced Materials, a Berlin-based organization that supports the transfer of technology from universities into the economy in the area of advanced materials. We do that through a number of startup programs. We do that through events like these, where we connect all the relevant players along the value chain um, of technology transfer, i.e. from universities to startups to investors, and finally, of course, to the future customers, i.e. the corporates. On this particular occasion, I'm super happy that we were um, allocated um, significant funding from the Berlin uh, Senate to be running the Future of, Con uh, Future of Computing conference, a conference that, in the vein that I've just described, tries to explore the linkages between the different players in the area of computing and, of course, particularly focusing on the potential and challenges of hardware solutions for the future of computing. We'll have um, arranged a full day of debates, of uh, discussions, of keynotes, starter pitches and the like. And um, I'd guide you very, very roughly through it. So we're going to kick it off with a keynote from uh, Professor Jan Jens Eisert of um, the Technical, uh, sorry, Free University of Berlin and uh, Berlin Quantum. Um, he'll be talking about quantum computing because that is uh, his topic, but we'll come to that in a second. We'll have various panels and sessions um, until the closing keynote of uh, Professor Sabina Jeschke, who will be holding hers at four o'clock. Before I dive into a couple of points that I want to make pre um, the pre-session, I would like to introduce to you my colleague Asa Asadullah Beik. Asa, could you please come on stage, uh, who will be also hosting sessions during the day. Maybe, Asa, say a couple of words about yourself. Great. Thank you very much, Oliver. And hello and welcome to everyone. It's great to see such a great audience with different expertise. Um, yes, my name is Asa. I'm uh, by training optics and photonic scientist, not a physicist, electronic engineer who moved that direction. I've been in research and academia for quite a while, but then I moved into startup scene myself, working on a project on uh, medtech using photonics. I've been working in Enum since 2022. I've been uh, running an early stage program that we had for startups and also taking care of new businesses. Very glad to have you here. Some of you, you know that I'm already moderating your session there or here as well, and uh, looking forward to our discussions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Asa. Now, before we start into the day with the first keynote, let me be a bit provocative. I've pulled together five theses which you might want to keep in the back of your mind during the day and reflect upon them and maybe also challenge them. And uh, if perhaps then for the final networking, we have some discussions on those. Number one, in the future, hardware will not be limiting the capabilities of software anymore, but much rather software will be determining what hardware looks like and what hardware is needed. Second, Simulation, and particularly experiment simulation in the field of advanced materials, will speed up tech transfer There you go. will speed up tech transfer from universities massively, and therefore also help startups in this field become much faster in bringing their products to the market, but also therefore be a much more investable target, particularly given the structure of VC funds. Three, 
the career trajectories and skill acquisition trajectory that we've experienced over the last, let's say, 100 or 150 years will change dramatically. And the linear acquisition of skills will have to change. Domain expertise will become super important as well as upskilling, reskilling, and learning new skills throughout your life. Number four, from an environment where basically one chip technology has been super dominant, we'll be embarking on an area where there will be comp competing technologies that will be following the demands of the particular use cases. And finally, the future of computing has already started. And we are looking forward to seeing many, many examples, actually. At least I consider them as very good examples today, particularly during the startup pitches, but also in the workout groups that will be discussing use cases, materials, and other topics. So that's it from my side to kick it off. I would like to now ask on stage um, Professor Jens Eisert, who will be giving the first keynote. Welcome. Good morning.